First, they can be acquired from the Rupture Dungeon, uh, both Sky Island as well as Sunken Ruins have a chance to drop either the several Transcendent Materials or a full piece of specific type of energy. Secondly, the Arachne Expedition also drops Transcendent Materials from her runs. Of course, the higher level you are able to complete, the higher the drop date uh, will be. Lastly, the main method on how you can get these materials is through the Path of Growth. Uh, there are three different Path of Growth dungeons, and each of them corresponds to a different Transcendence material. Path of Training drops the dead ones, Path of Adventure purple ones, and Subjugation will drop the green ones. There are a few other ways to acquire these materials, like the Repeater Quest or Subjugation and Raid Shops, uh, but the exchange rates or drop rates of these materials are quite inefficient. Uh, you will have more luck and it will cost way cheaper if you just get the material from the first three methods that were mentioned. However, don't let transcendence materials distract you from upgrading other aspects of the game. The summoner power and the strength is heavily outweighed from what you can achieve with uh, better runes with your monsters. Make sure to focus on other aspects of the game before heavily investing into summoner transcendence.